the process of gluing layers and layers of hardwood into thick volumes that are then carved into forms has been practiced for two centuries. But there is no other artist whose work has come to shape this technique and to elevate it into an artistic enterprise more than Wendell Castle. Since discovering stack lamination in 1963, starting with a small stool, this method had come to pave the way for Castle's signature and liberated language and has ultimately brought him into the forefront of the American design's pantheon. When Castle came across stock lamination as a young boy, reading about it in a how-to column that came to teach readers to make ducks from blocks, it was hardly practiced in artistic circles. Isamo Noguchi was one of the first to craft modern furniture using this technique. For decades, Castle has experimented and perfected it, gradually making stack lamination his own. It became his main tool to express his ideas when creating expressive art furniture of extraordinary scale and form. It helped him coming to question the very essence of furniture design when creating such unpredictable, unorthodox, and ambitious forms as a table with one leg on the wall, or an integrated piece consists of a table, chair, and stool, or a double chair growing out of a pedestal. A new show, Wendell Castle Remastered at the Museum of Arts and Design, curated by Ron Labaco, comes to examine the way in which Castle has reinterpreted and remastered his stack lamination language and skills today, but this time replacing hand craftsmanship with digital technologies. He revisits the first decades of his artistic production by creating a new body of work in dark stained ash using 3D imaging and a robot carving machine. Thanks to these high-tech gadgets, Castle performs enormous and complicated forms which would be impossible to create by traditional craftsmanship. Often called the Dean of American Craft Design, he's one of the most influential master furniture makers in the world today. Wendell Castle has trained hundreds of American designers at his studio and at the woodworking department at the Rochester Institute of Technology, which he headed for years. His career, which began over six decades ago, had witnessed a renaissance in 2006 when beginning a fruitful collaboration with legendary galleries Barry Friedman and when returning to what he has done the best, furniture in stock lamination. His long and complex career has been recently summarized in a catalogue resume. The exhibition's victory lies on bringing Castle's vintage icons with new pieces side by side. Its weakness is the bronze furniture, where Castle tried unsuccessfully to translate vocabulary belongs to wood into bronze. <laughs> 